Chud the cannons, chud the cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates. Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Chud the Cannons Rocket League Season Challenge. We are taking on Thanos and the Guardians today. Ooh, and uh, we are all prepping for Hurricane Florence in real time. Yeah, 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 for real. So it's like, it's it looks like it wants to rain outside right now, but has this not been like the slowest moving storm in the history of storms? I mean, for us, yeah. It's, it's been such a problem because they started like sensationalizing it a week out, which I guess is good because it gives time people for people to evacuate and stuff. Right. But at that point, they're like, well, it could hit anywhere here which is just like uh well, we don't know some some things have like roanoke like here's the bullseye boom and other things are like it's gonna loop around other things are like you're gonna get like an inch of rain what are you concerned about so who knows what's gonna happen right right it's gonna be and great it's the weirdest phenomenon too because every time it changes course i feel like everybody's like oh thank goodness it's gonna miss us and it's like that just means it's hitting someone else yeah, yeah. Like, like you get all excited that you're not going to get like slammed and then you it's kind of just like the guns pointed at a different person right. now. You also like really start like hedging what you're concerned about. Like if it if it was just a regular like going to rain this weekend thunderstorm and it was like you're going to get 5 inches of rain you'd be like, "Oh my god." Right. But now it's like 5 inches. <laughs> At least that's not 20. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> but it's still 5. You know, like, yeah. it's still a problem. Yeah. What is it? Like an inch of rain is a foot of snow. Yeah. Right. So yeah, it's so, like, yep. yeah. Yeah. Eh, we'll see. And it's all the ground's already saturated and there's already been like, let's play Rocket League, guys. <laughs> what are we even talking about? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just the weather. You know, like what's better than a good conversation yeah, about the weather? It's always good to start hey, a YouTube wrong. video talking about talking about uh, you know the weather. Hey, this, the weather. Isn't, this isn't like ah, it's partly cloudy today. <laughs> right, kind of right. Weather right. talk. This yeah, is yeah. like our homes can flood kind of weather talk. It, it's true, it's true. We definitely Not we have uh, got a little bit on the way. It's been, it has been like the biggest topic of conversation in like every, everyone I'm interacting with right now. Right, exactly. It's like, it's what they're talking about. Yeah! Nice shot, Jerry. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, the ball hit me oh. when I hit the ball there. Well, nice shot ball. I go up for it here and then Ben gets it ahead of me and then I'm like turning around and it's just like, boink, boink. I'll take I it either care. way. You know what, a point is a point. I mean, that was point. completely calculated planned. You're welcome. Yeah, yep, there, there we go. go. In, in go. true Chudley fashion, we've scored within the first 15 seconds of the game. Yes, we have. <laughs> Jordan, do we have any questions? We do for have today? questions. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I was trying to pick a question that was oh! even vaguely weather related because we were talking about weather, but there, I don't really have. One. Weird. I don't know why people aren't people asking, aren't about, the asking us about the weather. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's just not right. interesting. Do they even care about it? Mm -hmm. We are all three of us qualified meteorologists, so I don't understand why they Very wouldn't. much so. Yes, yes. So then we do have a question from uh, Sink. She says, Dear Ben, JDK, and Jordan, today I won a promotion and got a 500 oh euro debit card. Help, any tips on how to spend it? I've always saved my money and never really had much to oh spend my goodness. freely, I but can, I want to treat myself. I can you tell like you. photography. <laughs> <laughs> Do Oops. you like hoodies? Hey, there you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that say, YouTube is my playground, because it sounds like you watch YouTube videos, and you must be pretty deep onto the interwebs if you're watching this. Um, <laughs> if, you, if you found us, you've I been think around. If you're here, I think, if you're on the Super Carlin Gaming Rocket League episode 97 or whatever, um, <laughs> you, YouTube is your playground. You need to check out some new hoodies available at supercarlinbrothers.store. Um, or, or, you know what's a really great investment of your money is the Patreon, or the Super Carlin Gaming Patreon. We can play games with Ben and I. Hashtag shameless self-promotion. Shameless self-promotion. I feel like, Jordan, is that not why you chose this question? Uh, <laughs> it, it you know, it wasn't specifically, but I do really have to agree on, on both parts. Like, the hoodies, I am so excited the hoodies are for my hoodie here. They're, really oh, they're pretty rad. We I'm finally sure. have hoodies. I feel yes. certain Derek's going to put a I, nice image of a hoodie on the screen for you as he edits this. Future Derek, remember that. Future Derek will remember it. <laughs> Present would, Derek? No doubt. Maybe this. even President Jordan will put a bit yep. slack for him. I wonder, <laughs> I wish that there was some way that we could put YouTube is my playground hoodies on our cars. One of you guys is in position, so go for it. I'm going. That would be great. Oh, Did you do I it? Missed. Did you do it? I, I oh. took a weird beer. You took a weird beer. A weird huh? beer. Yeah, and and definitely the Patreon is super fun. Actually, Patreon, it, it, supporting Super Carlin Brothers and Super Carlin Gaming, obviously important, but just Patreon in general. Yeah, that's a really good such point. A yeah, great like, great regardless of you supporting us, yeah. supporting any of your favorite creators is great. Ooh! Like, just all three of us were yeah. in like formation. Don't they were. <laughs> that ball was going in. Yep. Um, 
Okay, no, so <laughs> let's let's maybe try and be a little more helpful. Yeah, that ball was a doom. Um, <laughs> if you just found yourself, well, how many years? If you just found yourself like five hundred dollars all of a sudden, what would you buy? So this it's interesting because I have such a phenomenon with with this kind of money, which I refer to as found money. It's money that like I wasn't expecting to have, and therefore I'm allowed to spend on something maybe a little. Oh my gosh, that was my fault. Oh. Woo, good um, save. Thank you. I'm, I'm allowed to spend on something slightly more frivolous. Like, I, I like to seize it as an opportunity to not have to be responsible. Right. <laughs> How can you be as irresponsible as possible? I think the better question is, though. Right. I mean, yeah, what like, should I irresponsibly spend on? Right. Like, what yeah. is the fun thing? What would you guys spend it on? Uh, probably some kind of camera equipment. I would probably get skates for Derby. Or, or, uh, a trip. A what? A, what? a trip? I never go oh, anywhere with my money. A trip is probably I, where I would go. I thought you said a crypt. I know. Crypt. Like, uh, I, what dip I want to be. I want to be the crypt keeper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, trip is probably is a great way to go about it. Um, yeah. Like where? Where is a place that I have the like, tendency to always, or uh, outrageous dinner? Oh, oh man, yeah, that's always a good one. Or an outrageous dinner on your trip. On your trip. On your that's trip. right. Maybe don't spend this all like two hours of time in a restaurant. Mm. Maybe not. You know, actually, one thing that I did uh, for a girlfriend one year for like a, a Christmas, no, for a birthday present, um, I had no idea like what to go with. Uh, and I think I had actually just come into some found money from an aquarium project I had just mm -hmm. done. And so literally for her birthday, I took her to the mall and said, you have $500. Oh, <laughs> man. Have fun. Like, you went into um, shopping spree. And and it's a, it's a, I don't know how to re responsibly spend this money, so you get to. <laughs> so you get to. No, I thought it was really cool. Because like, I, no, be I went with her, and it was like uh, it was just like a neat experience because it was um, not a situation we typically found ourselves in where we could just go buy clothes or sunglasses yeah. or you know, just whatever. I mean, like, the, the stuff that's always too expensive to actually just go pull the trigger on. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, And so I think it was it was sort of like a, a neat experience to just sort of feel like a baller for a hot second. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. Yeah. So. Your goal is to score with a bicycle, you guys. <laughs> or, oh! I was just going to say, oh, you know man. what? I'll settle for still just scoring, but... Uh, mm -hmm. Alas, I did not well, score. I want the turtle score. You want the turtle score? Yeah, we score that? perfectly upside down. Oh. Ooh. Like a, is, that, is there like a combination like, yeah, of that? Yeah, does it say turtle Ooh. score? Um, it gives you like a little turtle symbol. Oh, that's cool. Turtle, turtle. Turtle, turtle. Oh. Yeah. I would say, yeah, like one of the things that video games just always, always, always need to do is have just as many awesome combinations as humanly possible. I agree. Yeah. It's, it's, it is it fun. always fun whenever you can get like, uh, you know, the kill from the grave or whatever. One of my yeah. favorite games that does this really well that we played on the channel forever ago was Castle Crashers. Castle Crashers. That was like one of the first things we ever had Derek work on. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Woo! Look at that. Bicycle oh, no. save! No! Oh it's all gosh. up in our business. I know that we don't have a whole lot of time. No! Goodness I almost had it. Right after I had I such a had pretty it. save there. Look at this. Oh, look at that reverse save. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And then I hit it into Sentis. And then you hit it into oh. Sentis or Sent Dice? Uh, I'm not even sure. I don't know either. Smelly ice. We don't ice. have a whole lot of time left on this particular game, but I've got a quick question All from right. Chris Reno. Okay. He asks what y'all's 5K race strategy is. Do you aim for a negative split? Yes. And how yeah. many parts do you break the race up into? Three. Three. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, I'm a big negative split fan. Um, there we go. Boom. Yeah, um, um, yeah, negative it's splits. One of the hardest parts about negative splits, for, for those people who don't know, negative split yeah. means you run every mile uh, faster than the one before it. So if you start at like a seven minute pace, then a six minute pace, then a five minute pace, for yeah. example, for easy numbers. Um, not that you should be running those kinds of speeds or anything, but. Uh, I was going to say, isn't a five minute pace like bonkers? Yeah. Well, <laughs> if you're, if you're, maybe if you're in high school, it's not. But. Yeah. If you're, yeah, high school cross country. I, I remember there was one race, and so I say negative splits. The hardest part about it, though, going out slow. is going out slow because everybody just beams off the they line. They are flying, yeah. I had I had a race once where my first mile of the race was a 5:15, and it was just like, mm, that's not good. <laughs> like, uh, like the our coach was standing at the mile marker, like reading off the time tonight. Yeah, like <laughs> you are going to die. <laughs> Whoops. Yes. Um, or be the state champion. Or be the state yeah. champion. Yeah. Yeah. But no, that's that's the big thing. So for those people who have ever heard of Steve Prefontaine, he was a very famous runner in the. Uh, famously did not. 
very famously did not win uh, in the Olympics. Woo! Go to Gannons! Instead came in fourth uh, because he was such an out front runner and couldn't hang, you know, because he was doing all the work. Nobody could draft, or he wasn't drafting off anybody. So I would say, yeah, try to go out calm, you know, get yourself all collected, and then and then just continue to increase the speed. It's yeah. interesting because I was always really bad at doing this. Like I always preach it as if I knew exactly how to do it, but I was bad at it. Um, but in just later on in life, when I've gone and like tried to train for like half marathons and stuff, I found that a lot of times I just start out running really slow at the beginning of the run because it's like well this is just like a 10 mile training run i'm not gonna be pushing myself hard or anything here but then sure enough after about two miles i'm like hey wait a minute i'm doing this. i can <laughs> i can actually start moving all of a sudden it's like yeah it, it is easier to go faster later than you think right it's just hard to restrain yourself early but sometimes. if you're if you find yourself like in a, in a cross-country situation you know that person who's like two people in front of you that is a good person to just literally go into the race and be like, I am staying with Ryan Caps today. Uh, and it's like, no matter what capses. happens, I am going to be glued to his side. And that's sometimes a good way to even just boost your speed because it's like, no matter what. Um, the other thing that I've had for myself is literally a day where I just went out and went for it. Mm -hmm. No pressure whatsoever. Went to the track and was like, I'm going to see how fast I can run a 5k. Yeah. And it was like, if I fail, no big deal. Right. Yeah. Do, yeah. Give yourself non-pressure situations. Yeah. Okay. But now I think it's a good time for a word from our sponsor. Sponsor of today's episode is Clark. And his message is a lovely quote from J.R.R. Tolkien. If more of us valued food and cheer and song over hoarded gold, it would be a merrier world. Yeah. There you go. What a fascinating yeah. thought. It yeah. basically sounds like if more people weren't like dragons. <laughs> that's, true. that's true, that's true. It's like, that oh, is what J.R.R. Tolkien yeah. was saying. Which is perfect. <laughs> it's just because we're playing Because we're playing the dragons. dragons. All right. Who, who we sh all know value right. gold way too much. Oh, right. Too exactly, much. exactly. So um, don't be a dragon. We're not pirates. Here we go. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> That was just very funny. I'm giggling over here. <laughs> the old salty shores. <laughs> the old salty shores. It's a good thing, yeah, it's a good thing we're not pirates. <laughs> this is like such a non place for pirates to be. Yeah. Right, just, we'll just go on the beach. beach. Yeah. I mean, our, our boat does not float. Oh, look at the same. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Viper. Get, get your dumb. Could it be? It could. Oh, it wasn't. Oh, whoa, whoa. No it could have been, but it wasn't. No 15 Instead. second goal, as is custom, Mary. Or someone. Us. It was still pretty good. Still pretty. Good. Sometimes playing this game and talking at the same time is just—it's kind of hard. Good center. Good center. And, and, you know, oh no, man! I cannot believe the hound actually defended that. Well, while you struggle to uh, play the game and talk, I'm going to ask you guys for advice questions. Do it. Perfect. Uh, so from Tim, he says, hey, Ben, DKJ, oh, I took and took a wrong route, man. I have a disease called Crohn's disease, and I want people to know it's okay to sort of make jokes about it and stuff. And I want to be able to make jokes about it myself. How do I make these kinds of jokes without making people either offended or uncomfortable? And how do I encourage that other people can also make these jokes? Essentially, how do you make jokes about something that might be uncomfortable for others to joke about initially? Oh man, oh, man. This, is, this is an interesting thing, uh, because I do think when you know a certain like dramatic characteristic about somebody, whether it be Boom! like a, nice shot, a good center. Like a loss of a family member, or, um, or like, a, like a significant, you know, like long-term illness or something, it's like whenever you accidentally bring something up, like without realizing, you, you immediately feel like you're going to have offended that person. Yeah, right. Um, and, and I think it, it honestly depends a little bit on the person as to how okay they are with the conversation about it happening. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. It's, it's, it's sort of an interesting thought. Ooh. Like I have a friend who is in a wheelchair and uh, he has been since he was like nine years old. And he is one of the best people I have ever met for being like, he's so at peace with it. It's crazy. Uh, and it's, it's kind of interesting because you, you can just straight up ask him about it. Like he never takes like immediate offense to anything. Um, and I uh. think uh, the fact that he sort of leads that charge mm -hmm. helps 
uh, being more comfortable in terms of talking about it with him. Mm -hmm. Right. So I think that if you were if you were the person with the thing and you were like completely okay with with having a sense of humor about it, um, then that probably is going to lighten up other people. Yeah. yeah. I think the part of this is that almost like definitionally, it's like on a case by case situation sometimes where like maybe you're completely okay with joking about it but like someone else might not be mm -hmm. uh situation I, I don't know uh per se but it uh i i think yeah you have to be the one sort of like leaving the charge and making it okay for people to joke around about it um i think the other thing about this is that you Ooh. never want to like joke in a way that like is malicious like you can joke about the things you can't do or something but you can't be like making fun of someone for having it like right. that's the, that's sort of like the the line i think um mm -hmm. like you can make fun of like the like some of the things you have to deal with as a result that can be a long shot stuff like that you know actually oh man one of one situation i've had with this before was we had a friend whose dad uh actually passed away due to a heart attack and i remember like Eight months later, you know, I was having a conversation with him talking about how I had a rat in my apartment. And I was like, oh my god, it gave me like a heart attack. And I, I think I just felt horrible. Oh, like you made like, a heart attack yep. joke. That, I mean, not it, it's a not joke. even a joke. Yeah. It's just like uh, like to, to suggest that spotting a rat in your apartment is on par with the kind of struggle he's endured with that particular word. Right. And, you know, you just sure. immediately feel this like, why did I say that? Like, you know, and of course, like it wasn't in any way, shape, or form intended to be Yeah. Uh, to be malicious. But that that was one one instance I had had sort of like a similar circumstance. Mm -hmm. It does sound like oh, the general oh, advice yeah. though is oh. you can crack jokes about your thing and basically if somebody else cracks a joke following that Make sure that you laugh enthusiastically and, and indicate that that is okay. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I mean, there, there could be a little bit of, like, you might need to set the precedent because it's not going to be the most ordinary for someone to just assume that you are going to be cool with humor being made about, you know, something that you struggle with or you with or whatever it's going to be. Yep. My, my sister Sorry. jokes about, um, so she had a, a car accident and I actually knew, this, knew I was going to ask this question in advance and confirm that I could talk about this. Um, but she had a car accident and now has a spinal fusion, which means that she's got, like, a titanium rod alongside her spine. But she jokes all the time that she is the titanium backbone of our household. Ah, that's funny. Ah, there you go. That's, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, like, like, we had, um, like, the pectus chest surgery where they put a bar in your chest, and so there was a lot of, like, oh, man of steel kind of jokes <laughs> happening around yes, our house, yeah. you know. Oh, I've got chest of steel. Conversely, please don't punch me there. It, <laughs> it, it is not what it sounds like. It's so yeah. painful. It, 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 did not, it, did it did not. not make me stronger. It did not. Oh, that's bad. That's, no, that's bad. Yeah, they're not going to score. Nothing Yeah, that is that is kind of funny. I had forgotten that that was a thing that I knew about you guys, but I could see people joking about you being men of steel. Oh yeah. The fun thing about that was that like we had these cross pieces in our rib cages where if you like kind of bent over you could see this see like sticking this out. So that was like yeah. the party trick in like sixth grade you could always do be like you want you want some like cross piece? Yeah. <laughs> really popular with the ladies. It was That's oh, hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Oh sorry Derek. It's right day or do I just did? That's not alright, that's not alright. Oh. No! Off my nose! Oh my, oh my gosh! Guys. Why would you hit it at me? Oh gosh! Well. Wow, there. Way to score on us. Shoot! Shoots and ladders. Uh oh. How? How? Anyway. If this goes into overtime, I'm definitely going to ask you guys another question. Right. Just to make it hard. Yeah. We have 10 seconds, y'all. We got it. We center! Got it. It's a good center! Oh no! no, no. They popped it up. Alright, well. Gotta believe! It's still alive! Gotta believe! Still alive. Yeah. Uh, okay. They really jumps to overtime so fast. Yeah, yeah. It's like, like, and three, two, one, go. Game over and we're in overtime. Take it. Take so, it. Take it to the house! Boom! <laughs> Over time, where was your question, Jordan? <laughs> well, I thought I was gonna ask another question, yeah. but I, I gave you Jordan of Little Six Faith. too many seconds. 
Boom! Ha ha ha! You dribble that right around him. Oh, oh we do! Man. Yeah. Yeah, feeling good. Feeling good. I feel like my my uh commendations always include first touches. First that's, touches. I feel like that's how I know I didn't play a good game when that's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like me. You touched the ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Way to be there. Well done. Alright, man, take that, um, not dragons. As it were. Oh boy, coming up in next episode, we have a Victor Crumb and the Seekers. But uh, guys, thank you so much for uh, watching today's video and hitting that like button and leaving us new questions to answer probably about the weather. Maybe. Probably, <laughs> most likely, maybe. most likely. Speaking of, I think this video goes live on Monday, yes. Yes. which I believe is when the weather shall be hitting us. Yeah, so, it can be, be mid-weather as you listen. Yes, yes. Crazy. So. Just hop over on Twitter and say hello to us. Yeah, say we, hello. Just show, we, we, we could be looking without power. <laughs> yeah. We might not have power. We might not respond. We'll see. We'll see. How many battery banks have you guys charged in preparation? Two. Two? two? Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, that sounds about right. I, I think I have about 21 iPhone charges available uh, going into the weekend. <laughs> passing. Yep, yep, right, yep. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Well, until next time. Charlie Cannons, Charlie Cannons. Boom, boom, boom. We are not pirates.